So, what's the next thing on our agenda? We're gonna go through Wario's now. So let's have some fun with this one. The Bomb Squad. The parachute with bombs are destroying your flowers. Use your things lot to knock them out of the air. Get black key to to blow them all up. If you say so. Oh God! Hey! Don't fire them down, you moron! Help! Help! Our flowers are shooting betraying us! So we hit Lakitu. They're all gone instantly. You don't get a lot of points for that, but at least they're dead. So anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more bonus episodes of Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS. This is your host, the MJ406. And well, we got fun little side attractions for us here. And here's one of them for Wario's. You have all these bombs dropping down. Use your little slingshot here to try to shoot them all down as they come down with the airships. Shoot a key you want to get rid of all of them. It's basically like a tower defense kind of thing. Well, I'm done. You guys can destroy it all. Wait! No! No! These are the princess! She needs to get her true power! We can't let these all go to waste! Oh no! What a shame! One of my strategies is to let them get to the bottom screen and then pull the slingshot and then just latch all of them before they hit, have time to even hit the ground. And now they're all just falling for no reason. Well, sucks to be them. So let's go over more of these. Next is Snowball Slalom. Rub the touch screen and roll a snowman's head to the goal before time runs out. Rocks will slow you down, as will touching his head. I mean, yeah, no shit. That's what I would expect. So, yep. Use the top screen to tell what's coming up next, and just rub the bottom screen. They move the clock down to the bottom screen when you're nearly out of time. Holy crap, get out of hitting a typical obstacle. So, yep, that's that simple one. Just keep rubbing up on the touch screen, you can roll the ball to victory! What a fun one you are, stupid snowball. Next is, oh, this one. Bingo ball! Launch a ball into a numbered slot on the touch screen. The number will light up at the top screen. Get three numbers in a row to score. Hang on. See, so yeah, this one is uh, weird. Basically, you try to use all these balls to hopefully get numbers so you can get points. You want to try to get as many of the numbers as you can. Just note that how high the ball, the launcher is when you let go will determine exactly how many, how far it goes in the slot thing. Play go! I only got two matches. And well, they give you a point total based on that. And that's the game. Bit of a, a bit of luck and skill, like I said, with Wario's. You gotta know how to manipulate them at the same time, well, He's gotta hope that fortunes are in your favor. Speaking of fortunes in your favor, hey, get the fuck out of here! Ha ha ha! Find my money! Concentration! Hey, don't ignore me! Pay attention to where the fallen coins land. Touch the blocks to retrieve the coins. But if you use the wrong block, your game will end. So, this is a tough memory game. Keep an eye on where blocks go, so that way, you know where to look. Just guess the coins and try to get as many as you can. The moment you get a wrong one, you lose, and they show you all the ones you could have gotten. I don't know how you can get a perfect score in this, but good luck to you on that front, I guess. Hey! Didn't we have fun? Sure. This is one of my favorites. So here's this. Psych out. Are you psychic? Can you guess what's on the card's other side? Maybe if you stare at it long enough, a vision will come to you. So if you stare at the card, you may notice something. So yeah, this game is basically, pick what card it is. You can slightly tell. Just look at the card. You can notice it's a little see-through. Thing with the clouds is the easiest one to notice. Bailey just look through the card and try to find whatever visual it is. And while you can figure it out, you're good. Most of them are easy to tell, especially the star and the cloud. Now we're lucky! You get different titles for how every five you get. Every time you get past five, another another card is added. 
So you eventually have to do all five at once. There are five patterns. The mushroom, fire flower, star, cloud, and uh, feather. The feather's the last one, yeah. So basically you know how to determine those patterns through looking at the other side of the card and you're good to go. There we go, feather for the last one, all right. Lucky! Oh yeah, you get a different total after you hit 15. Let's see if I can hit that. Why not? Uh-oh. Cloud? Oh, good. Sometimes they make it very subtle where it's kind of hard to see. Oh, that was, yeah. I thought that was mushroom. I was gonna say, holy shit. It's a feather. <laughs> sometimes it's really easy. Sometimes you really gotta focus and think about it. It's a star. That wasn't at all what I saw. Get it wrong once, your game's over, though. So, yeah. You better be good at that or else. Well, womp womp. God damn. Now we're another bingo one. Oh, this is slots. Slot shot. The bar to swing open when a ball goes into a piranha plant. Sink the ball into the pipe, trigger the slot switch. Get three arms in a row for a bonus. So another fun little items game. And there we go. Need to get rid of the piranha plants in order to open up the bars and most easily get into the uh, pipes for the slot wheel. So, let's hope I get inside then, huh? Come on, spin the slots once. No! Just spin the slots once, please, yes. And well, they'll keep spinning if you keep hitting consecutive times, and well, Damn it, I didn't get a match. Oh, well, still got one more spin. Come on, come on. Wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. What's the money that I will earn? You earn. <gasps> jackpot! I got old with jackpot! There are different scores for different pairs. I don't care to go over them all, but, you know, play the game yourself if you want to have some fun with that little slot wheel game. See, these are fun. I like these. Ah, uh, this is a popular one from New Super Mario Brothers. Look, Lucky to launch. Shoot as many balls as you can into the tubs within the allotted time. We'll have the versus mode version of this for New Super Mario Brothers. You both have different colored tubs. I think? And you have to shoot into the tub of your color? I think that's how it works? So you have to just launch as fast as you can and hope you get it in the tub. That's really all you gotta do. It's pretty simple. Just think ahead when you're trying to get them in there. As long as you do that, you should have an easy time collecting these. And well, how many do I get? Man, is this how we, they do the training for throwing us? God, I'm going home. Yeah, I'm going to a new job. Yeah, this place sucks. They don't even give minimum wage. I can't even make a living off this. My wife left me for this job. I'm your wife. Well, nice to know they have minds of their own. You little key users are assholes. So yeah, that's a fun one I like. You know, hard versus the other two. Finding more money. Intense concentration. There aren't as many falling coins this time around, but that won't stop Wario. Watch the coins carefully. You better find the money or I'm going to kill you. Make sure you find the money or you are dead. I think I know five spots that they're in. No, is the butt over, you moron? So, yep, less coins to go after. Basically, harder version. Yes! I found my lucky penny! Ah! Ha 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 ha! I'm the luckiest treasure hunter alive! Hey, where are you going? Shut up, Wario. And a harder version of this Giant Snowball Slum! Roll the snowball over a longer course. As before, avoid rocks because they'll slow you down. And now they added penguins. Hey, have you found my daughter? I'm gonna walk away from this now because I don't care about your daughter. Once it gets fast, it's really hard to focus, so... Ah! Hey, how dare you! Where's my daughter? God damn these dumbass penguins. See, once this thing gets big, it's really hard to avoid stuff. Oh, God, help! Help! Oh, and you get stuck on an obstacle, that's the worst. No! Well, at least I can show you what happens when you lose this minigame. They always warn you about the last 10 seconds. 
At least they seem to put everything off at the very side, so that way you can at least roll down the center if you try hard enough. No! You don't make it to the end? Well, guess what? You don't get a high score. Sucks to be you. And like I said, we got through those relatively quickly. So, it's Mario time! These are puzzles, but also, well, action-based, kind of. Mario slides. Guide Mario down the slides to the star. Draw lines on the touchscreen to create new routes for him. Collect five stars and move up a stage. So. Basically, have fun with this. He always starts in a different position. They do that because, well... Things are going to suck for you the next time around, so you gotta keep adjusting your route to fix what he's going to do. And they go in the same path, and you never need to change the bridges. You're gonna have to draw at least one bridge every single time. They're smart about this. And of course, you can tell you can hit the uh, little arrows to speed things up, so that way you can just keep stuff moving along. Just guide Mario to the star and make sure that nothing gets in his way to ultimate victory in this puzzle game. I like games like this, too. There's another one of those puzzle things that Jap Japan just seems to really enjoy. The idea of just sliding, going left to right when they force you to, otherwise just go down as much as you can. And then there's guiding multiple heads, because that's fun. Which you can't guide two to the same place, because, well... Actually, I guess you can, technically. Like so. As long as they both get to a star at all, you're good. No! So you have multiple puzzles. Oh god! Mario, get over there! And well, yep. As long as you get the Mario heads to the stars at all, you're good. And well, the way this one's a dick. Oh, now they add some bridges. The moment you get a Mario head in a piranha plant, you lose. Why did you let them kill me? Because I hate you, Mario. Oh my god. And that's how that one goes. Nice little fun bridge puzzle. And this one. You want your action? Here you go. I'm up in the sky, bitch. Bounce and pounce. Mario's in free fall. But he can bounce back if you touch him. Stomp the fly guys. So make sure he doesn't fall off the touch screen. Oh god, there's multiple of me. God damn it. We're auditioning for our roles in Super Mario 128. That never ended up happening. This one is stage based. I remembered a different one from New Super Mario Brothers, but I think that one is in here too. So yep, just touch Mario around his feet, and depending on where you touch him, he'll launch a certain way. Just make sure he doesn't fall. You're allowed to lose up to three. I say up to three because basically if one falls, Another will come up and, or come down rather, and take his place. And well, you can probably guess what to do here. Just keep going and make sure you get all the fly guys. You gotta hit them in a certain direction so that way they don't actually fall and die on you. Like a bunch of assholes. Isn't that right, Mario's? Oh god, they're coming in faster. And as you may expect, some of these fly guys move. I think after a while you get small fly guys as well. There we go. Oh, your Mario lives don't recover either. Oh, God. Hmm, I thought they recovered. No, oh, maybe I'll see. Oh, God, they all came out once. Why? No, I couldn't touch you in time. How dare you think about touching me? Mario, don't be, don't be that guy. I don't like being touched. Wait, why did he touch us? Oh, no. God damn it, Mario. And well, lose three lives, you lose. I know eventually small fly guys come in, so you have a tighter bit of landing room to actually get them. But at least you can kill fly guys with Mario. Ah, here's the one that's me and my brother's absolute favorite to compete in. If we're trying to get a high score at the very least. Ah, sp sword or splode. Guide bob to the black carpet and bob buddies to the red carpet. If you bring in a wrong color bob it will blow up. Hey, what do you mean we're right right by bomb? That's racist. Yeah, why do the Indians get all the love? Yeah, what the hell? I want to be equal. Come on, we're all friends. Give us our land back. Oh, God, this is getting weird. Get us off the streets. 
Give us back our land! Oh god, no, please stop. Please stop, I can't take it. Anyway! Yep, basically, storm on the right side. And keep a note, if you put one on the wrong side, you lose all of them on that side. So, make sure you do not put them in the wrong spot. See, this was a nice, quick reaction time game, where you just gotta see how quickly you can get them all in there. Come on, ba -bomb buddies and ba -bombs. How can we were less in second? That means we're less important! Oh god, don't start doing this. Your perception of us is racist! Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't win with you, can I? Nope, you're a racist no matter what you say! God fucking di- Oh! Panicked. You suck! And well, if you can fill up 40 of one side, you'll get that side to advance you keep them in reserve. Otherwise, it keeps going until either one blows up in the center, if you take too long to put them anywhere, or you put them on the wrong side, which is probably the more, the easier way to lose. You can get scores in the hundreds. I know me and my brothers have gotten up to like the two hundreds. It's pretty nuts. It's a lot of fun. And here's another one I remember from New Super Mario Brothers. Trampoline time! Draw a line on the touch screen to turn into a trampoline. You can draw up to three lines at a time. Help Mario bounce the safety! Oh god, you got music from that shitty Mario game! Oh come on, Sunshine's fun, man! Says you, most people hate that game! Man, that is something I feel like I need to bring up. A lot of people I've known recently seem to hate Sunshine. Don't get me wrong. It's got some weird ideas that can piss me off at times. That being said, yeah, by the way, you have a big giant trampoline there. Once it's jumped onto three times, it's gone. You can only draw up the three trampolines yourself. Either disappear over a period of time, or, well, you only have three. They won't even let you draw a new one, so... If you got three on there, make sure they're good, or they're gonna be hopped on. That's why I wanna read their route and try to draw where they're gonna land. But anyway, yeah. I've had a, I've been very annoyed by a lot of people not liking Sunshine now. Don't get me wrong! I like Mario Sunshine a lot, but... It is one of my least favorite 3D Mario games. Because, you know, it's weird and there's some annoying, difficult design choice to make the game last forever, like the blue coin hunting. Oh god, that could suck. Still, there's something about the feel of Mario Sunshine that makes it stand out a lot from all the other 3D Mario games. It's all like submarine vacation-y. It feels really nice. I gotta say, it, it's just a very pleasant game. It really is. The funny thing is, I remember back in the day, they did like a scientific study, supposedly, that, well, people that play Mario Sunshine tend to be more helpful in their everyday lives with other people like strangers. What the hell was that? I've never seen that happen before. Can they make things a little higher? Huh. I've never lasted this mini game this long. Man, hey, this one's super easy. I didn't even do anything, you made it! I'm not gonna be so easy. Yeah, you are. Okay, we've had our fun. So it looks like over time, the height gets a little higher. The stage never changes, though. We're jumping to our dance! Man, I'll just say that. Mario Sunshine, I, a lot of people I've been hearing of hate it lately. It makes me upset, because I really like Mario Sunshine. Despite being only my second my second least favorite 3D Mario game, only above 3D Land for the 3DS. Which that could come up in the future with this channel as well. Just maybe. If this 3DS doesn't fucking die on me. But it's pretty good today. So far. Shovel shell! Oh god, it's curling. Use the paddle to push the Koopa shells at the target. The closer shells land to the center of the target, the more points you earn. There's a versus version of this as well in New Super Mario Bros. You basically compete like it's curling. Try to hit these in a certain way to get them on the target. The harder you hit it, the more they'll bounce. After they hit a wall, they tend to slow down, so you don't want to go too crazy. There we go, 100 points. I suck at curling. The series. 
100 points! I still got the highest score because nobody else did it before! Yes! Yes! Ah, uh, good times, good times. Anyway, here's the harder and endless version of this. You have this, the bouncing trouts! Mars around by fly guys and trouts. Touch him on his left, right, or center to make him bounce in that direction. This is basically the endless version of the fly guy thing. Instead of going by in stages, you just keep stomping fly guys as long as you can. I just, I don't get the hate a lot of people have for sunshine. I mean, actually I do. The fact that there are like people that say it's like a bad game. I'm like, what? How do you call sunshine a bad game? It's got a nice feel to it. It's very fun to walk around. Even, it feels better to move around that game than Mario 64, that's for sure. And I love Mario 64. It's one of my favorite Mario games, mind you. And I can comfortably say that, yeah, Sunshine Control is better. I get some people probably had a bad experience, bad experience with Sunshine or see some of the things in it as stupid. I have some agreements to it, but on the other hand, one of the most unique of the series, for reasons like that. While it's maybe a little gimmicky, it still just feels really fun. Then again, I have a hard time with people that say Mario games in general look bad. If anybody says a Mario game is bad, that's where I start to question them. Because of the main Mario games, I rarely see like one I can actually call bad. The closest of the main series I had to being like that I count Mario Land as a spin-off, so I don't go into those simple ones like that. Like, of the actual main ones made by the Mario creators. Well... The closest one I see to being, like, bad is New Super Mario Bros. 2. And that's more just like it's the blandest of the New Super Mar of the Mario games. And even then, it still has, you know, the... Oh, I wanted to get to 50! Oh, I was one away! New Super Mario Bros. 2 is just boring. The levels were designed fine, and well, it had the same feel as like the other New Super Mario Bros. games, but it was just boring in comparison with all the coin stuff they tried to implement as like the main feature. Oh, an enhanced bridge one. Oh god, connect the characters. Draw lines to match the characters' heads to their bodies. Press go when you're finished to see how you fared. Oh, right, this one. So this one you have to plan beforehand. Or else, yeah. Let me show you what I mean. That's why I love these puzzles. You can't draw after the fact. You have to do this immediately. You have to make sure you know where each one of them is going. Oh, God. I don't think this is going to work. Good thing is, you know that each of them will drop to a different position because of the way these kinds of puzzles work. So, use your knowledge of that to... Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Yeah, I misread that. My bad. Shit! I did not think that through enough. That should be good, right? Yep. It's nice. This is actually a pretty cool, different way to do this. I like this. Just basically think about how all the heads are going to travel and think about how you're going to get them to go to their destination. Oh, dear. There we go. Count the Mario heads. Yeah, they look like they'll be fine. Okay. And yep, you can't draw in the middle of them falling, so you gotta make sure you get it right. Thankfully, it's two each head, so it's actually pretty easy to work with here. But otherwise, yeah, you're gonna be in for a long haul of hell. That should be good. Nope. It won't be. Because I fucked up that Yoshi head, son of a bitch. Oh dear. This could be bad. Maybe? Yep, it's gonna be bad. 
Let's try that. Oh no! A Yoshi Mario got mixed up. As soon as you screw that up, you lose. Eventually, it adds Luigi and Wario heads, so you gotta get those specifically to their exact spot, or you're not gonna win that one. God, thing in that game's hard. Here we go, extreme! Ooh, this is the fun one. Shell smash. Hit goofy shells together to score points. Hit many in a row for even more points. Score higher points by smashing green shells together. This is a fun one! You get all the shells to beat the shit out of each other. You get up to 240 points for each hit. So, yep, just go crazy. And, well, like I said, getting green shells to hit each other gets you, I think, a times two multiplier for that little point increase. So, have fun. Let's see if I can show you what I mean. Let me try to hit the green one right away. If I can do this. Oh, it gives you like a five, maybe. I also let you know how many shells you have left. Let me see if I can hit it to the side. No! No! I need a mulligan! Damn it! It's a ten times multiplier, excuse me. So get the greens to hit each other, you get a lot of points for it. But yep, just smash the shells together for some fun good old carnage. Good old Koopa Shell Carnage, my favorite kind of blood sport. My god! Those are the turtles, man. And here's a weird version of the bouncing one of the trampolines. Trampoline Terror. Only players with superb style skills will be able to make Mario bounce through the rings. So, now you're going to make Mario move, move in a particular way. It's going to go through rings. Rings. And what, well, you get a combo, you're going to go through multiple rings for bounce of the trampoline. Damn it, Mario, come on. I believe after a while you start having uh, more Marios added into this. So, just get good at your bouncing. And when you finish my thoughts on Mario Sunshine, which I forgot to finish up, it's not the worst Mario game I've played. I believe it is that. I've definitely played worse in regards to, you know, New Super Mario Bros. 2. In the 3D realm, I feel like there is one worse. And that's only because it's just... It doesn't feel like there's too much in it. Well, yeah, I do I do kind of like when games are short and sweet. But, well... The problem I have with Super Mario 3D Land is that it is it is short, but it's not really that sweet. It's more, like, bittersweet. Yeah, I'll go with bittersweet. Make it sound weird. Oh, you both are going through the same ring. You guys suck. And well, you have the same rule. Bottom trampoline will disappear after being landed on three times. And then, well, you're on your own after that. They'll never revive that middle trampoline for you. Damn it. Yeah, there'll always be at least two going. Oh, yeah, by the way, the smaller the trampoline, the higher they'll bounce. And if they're in the center, they'll bounce. And so I generally want to try to draw a small trampoline so they always go high. Get up there! Ha! He beat you to it, you bitch. See, this is kind of cool. Get some fun little combos of this game. Anyway, yeah. I feel there are worse games in Mario Sunshine amongst the 3D ones. Mainly one. That being said, there's not really a bad 3D Mario game, or Mario game in general. There's those that are boring. For me, the two that follow that category are New Super Mario Bros. 2, the 3DS one, and Super Mario 3D Land. That's why I feel like the Wii U entry 3D World improved a lot on what 3D Land brought to the table. Again, they're not bad, just boring in comparison to others. Sunshine, while it feels different and some of its gimmicks can piss people off, I can certainly say this. Sunshine isn't boring, at the very least. And its environment leads for a lot of fun. And, well, while it's not one of my favorite three Mario games, it's one that, well, I always treasure going back to every once in a while. Because I've been wanting to actually play that game again recently, just for the heck of it. 
I found myself bored with today's entries in video games. Me and my hipster self will never get tired of saying things like that. Are there any three of you on screen, I wonder? Oh, I see. Every time they go to a new set of patterns, they add another Mario. Just go in there, man! Go in there! I'll just leave my thoughts at that. There can certainly be worse. Oh god, there's four of you! Make it stop! Okay! You're all dead. Ah. Still. I want, I'm hoping people know, like, all the Mario games pretty well. Sunshine is definitely the black sheep of the 3D Mario games. It's the most different because of that frickin' flood mechanic. Still. It's one that's very fun and picks up on a lot of the ideas of Sunshine, of Mario 64, and improves some of them. It adds some bullcrap, but either way, it's a nice, fun little diversionary game that at least tried to be different. So I can appreciate Sunshine for what it is. That being said, if you haven't played a 3D Mario game before, I wouldn't start with Sunshine. It is a good feel kind of game, though, so... You know, if you need something to bright your... If you need a game to play to brighten up your mood, Sunshine is actually one of the best games I could say to go for. There's some annoying things about it, but just playing the game in general, watching, looking at the environments, listening to the music is just so pleasant. Ah, <sighs> God, I love my GameCube games. Well, either way, we got through two categories of games, and well, all that's left are times at the table. Where shit's about to get fucked because Luigi's an asshole when it comes to his casino games. So go back next time for our last bonus episode of Super Mario 64 DS, where we will play against Luigi these table games and see how we compete with him when it comes to winning at card games and other fun casino attractions. I'll let you have a hint. He's gonna win because he rigs it, because he owns a casino. Hey, don't mock me like that. I know what you're saying behind my back. I said it to your face. Oh, God, don't hurt me! Wow, what a bitch. 